Fiance Lori Gav had him falsely arrested for domestic violence and then obtained a false restraining order. Lori is countersuing for the cost to change the locks to her home. Okay, this man who you describe as having a terrible temper texted you at work and said, listen, I have to let this whole situation de-escalate for a while, so I'm going to go and stay at a friend's house until you get home. You spoke to your mother, and you called him at night and said, we're done. Oh, he's on the leash. You can't say we're done and barricade yourself in the house. You can't do that unless you've done it before. You see how you're smiling? Can't control yourself. So you barricaded yourself into the house. He didn't kick down the door. He pushed down the door because he wanted to get into his home where he is entitled to be. And you're smart enough to know that if you called the police and said to the police, he pushed his way into the house, they would say, well, whose house is it? And he would say, well, it's our house. They would say, he's entitled to be in his house. He didn't have a fight with you. He had a fight with his mother-in-law. Tell his mother-in-law to leave. We can't make him leave because he didn't touch you. Well, they don't. And you know that. So very quietly and stealthily, you let him come upstairs and sleep in bed with you. And when you left in the morning, then you called the police. You called the police because, according to you, your mother said when he was orderly, taking his stuff and leaving, he says, but I'm going to come back for my son. I want my son. I love my son, just like you do. The law doesn't give you any special rights as a mother to your child. And you know that, because the law's equal. They say fathers are really fathers. They have rights to their children, the same as their mothers. And it doesn't matter who cooked them. So what you did was get a leg up. Because you said, in order for me to do that, I've got to get an order thrown him out of the house, excluding him from the house, saying that I'm afraid of him, saying that he threatened to take my son, not his son, which you did, and some judge actually gave you that order. See, I wouldn't have done that. But we're all different. So you did have him falsely arrested. And he's suing you for... $1,500 in attorney's fees. I would have given you a lot more. You have a counterclaim for your broken door. Fix it yourself. You had no reason to barricade somebody who had a perfect right to be in their apartment out of their home. Judge him for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,500. A goodbye. I don't know why you find this funny. I don't find it funny, actually. I find it very sad. Because if what you're telling me is, since this all happened, he's been on a supervised visitation schedule, you, madam, are outrageous. He has 